it's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I have a few unboxings for you. Um, now, these videos will go up probably each day. Um, I tend to do my videos in a bit of bulk when I'm off, um, but you will be able to see all the goodies that I've got. But I've decided to start on this one. Um, the reason being is I have some other videos that I want to do off the back of these paintings um, and I'll scatter them in with the unboxings. So, um, these are two diamond paintings from Who I Can on AliExpress. They were part of my order from um, the last day of the sale, which was on the 24th of June. Now, this one, didn't arrive until the 12th of July. So this one took 18 days and this was my last item to arrive, even if it is the first one that I'm unboxing today. But let's get in it and I'll show you what I've got and I'll talk about some of my plans for this as well. So there is two paintings in here. I can get them to come out. Oh, that's different. Okay, so I have two paintings. They've just come in a jiffy bag. Um, so we get two toolkits, and this is what's slightly different. I don't know what is in that toolkit, but there is black, what looks like drill bits. So let's open this one. So this is slightly different from who I can. Uh, I did used to order from them quite a bit. Um, and then they had drill again. Um, so that's partly why I've decided to give them a go again. Um, but we have a different type of um, boat. My one is it's very crooked, um, but it's bigger. So this is the normal sort of white boat. This one, as you can see, is bigger, but it does not have a spout. Um, so there are pluses to this bigger boat until, of course, you want to tip the beads out. So we get one of those. Uh, we get a little bracelet-y type thing. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it has a fish. Um, just the, the other one has a star. So the other one has a star and that has a fish. We have the nice tweezers. So these are the nice black tweezers. They are quite pointy and quite sharp, um, but we have those. We have a pen with a grip, a uh, single placer, and then what looks like it could be a four or five placer. I don't think it's, oh, four. It says four. So this is now a four placer. I've not had one of those before. And then this one is what they call a ten placer, or it has the number ten on it anyway. It's a little bit different. And then we have a couple of pieces of wax. So that's what we get in each of the tool kits. And these are the diamonds. Now, I have one square and one round. And also, I actually have, while well, I have two paintings, they are two paintings that are the same. Okay, so one of my plans for this, as well as testing Huracan's Drillmageddon, is also to... Um, do a square versus round and I wanted to do it on a size of painting that was manageable I didn't want to do it on a huge painting sorry let me get those bits of plastic out of the way um, I didn't want to do it on a huge painting because if I was doing the same painting twice I could possibly get bored so Huracans has tape around it as well as being in the sort of shrink wrap but this is the picture so it is a bumblebee and it I say it has 30 colors i'm just going to have a look whether this is the square or the round because i'm going to do something different um with each one Okay, so this one is the round, so I am going to leave that like this. Um, the reason being is what I'm also going to do with these paintings, which I'll tell you while I get this plastic off. Hang on, actually, let's just get rid of the noise. 
Okay, noise gone. Um, what I'm also going to do with these paintings is to do some beginner's guides as well. So I do want to do a beginner's guide as in what do you do once you've received your painting. So I'll save the round one for that. And we'll do the square one with you guys today. So I'm just going to get rid of sticky tape. Yuck. Okay, so um, this is just the unboxing. I will do more on the square versus round. Um, but we have 30 colours on this one as well. It is the same picture, though actually it's printed the other way up on this one. Weird, but it is the same picture. Um, and I think they're actually orientated that way, is the way the picture is orientated. Um, but yeah, it's 25 by 20, so it's not a big painting. Um, and looking at the back, just unrolling that off its foam core. We have no, um, we have a couple of creases, but we have none of those pucker bubbles. They are just creases. I'm happy with that. So let's have a look at the drill field. Pull this back. Ooh. This looks pretty. So I'm pull that all the way back. So we can make out the bumblebee. It is in there. It's actually clearer to see off camera than on camera for a change. Um, but it is there. And the symbols are nice and clear, which is good. Then again, I've never found a problem with Huracan symbols before. Um, it was just either their, I think it was their canvas size more than it was their drills but um, there was an issue with square drills and I did definitely have one that got thrown away because of it. So to pull back the other side and let's show you the image from there. So I think the image is supposed to go this way. So it's not super clear on the um, canvas itself but it is only a small one. So we are also testing the whole, how small can you go with an image. But that's the canvas. And then to have a look, this is the square drills. So let's see if I can get in this as well. So let's have a look at some of these colours. Tip them out. Here we go. So say who we can uh, just do bags. In fact, I haven't said, but who we can just do bags um, with all the diamonds in that you'll need. And you should always get more um, than what you actually need. So to quickly do inventory, um, we'll have a look and see if we can. Okay, they're not in any sort of order, so I'm sort of gonna group them up now into um, in the tens, in the twenties and that's according to Huacan's number. I'm doing that according to Huacan's number on the front. So that's twenty, that's number one. Twenties, twenties, teens, teens. That's at the beginning. Twenties, Beginning teens, teens, twenties, 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 teens. Okay, so we've got colour one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we've got eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then the 20 will have gone in here. 20, 21, and I will show you this now. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and to show you on 30, 
the numbers that they use, so the 30 is the number that they put on the, um, here we go, let's use the round one. So is the number that they put down here, one to 30. Then we have 3866, which is their DMC number, which surprisingly is different per canvas, but we'll get into that when we do the square versus round. And then they do 1699, which is how many diamonds they say is in here, and it normally is more. Um, and then for 3866, on the actual canvas itself, it says 1440. So I need 1440. They've given me a bag with 1,699, so there should be more than I need. Um, but that is the inventory done for who I can. Um, I do keep an eye out just in case any of the colours don't look like they're supposed to be, in case there's been any sort of mix-up when they're putting them in the bags. Um, but I like the fact that three tens, there's only 77 in the bag and on the canvas there's only 66 and um, so yeah that is the two paintings that i've got to do square versus round and it is this b image so keep an eye out for my comparison i'll do a comparison before i start and also i am going to be doing sort of a beginner's guide um, on square versus round and that's the reason i've kept this one rolled up um, I am going to do a what do I do when I get when my diamond painting arrives and what do does everything mean um, so if you are a beginner keep an eye out for those videos which will be coming up um, and I'll probably create like a beginner's playlist as well just so that you oh excuse me just so that you can find everything in one place but that was from who I can and to let you know they were three pound 19 each um so not huge cost wise um and they do look like they're gonna give quite a good image so if you want to try something they were three pound 19 each and that was for the square or the round um in the 20 by 25 they both have 30 colors so you'll get quite a nice experience on, on working on many different colours. So thank you for joining me for that unboxing. There's sort of one kit and there's another. Um, and I will be back soon with another unboxing for you. Thanks for watching.